Yes, they never tutorial. Now, a lot of custom logic nodes do exist out on the internet for Armor 3D, but they haven't been integrated into the SDK yet. Either they are in the middle of doing so, or they, whatever, they're not too important, they don't really need them, they're too specific logic nodes. Whatever the case, there are a couple of very useful logic nodes that you could probably use. So I'm going to show you right away how to integrate them into Blender. So first thing you want to do is to save your Blend file. So what you're going to do is to navigate to a specific folder, Logic Nose Tutorial, and save your blend file right there. And as soon as you've done that, you will notice in the directory you have your blend file. Here, what we want to do is we want to create a new folder. And this folder is going to have to be renamed to a library folder. Now, to do so, you can see this is what we're going to import into it. And uh, this is basically what it says, you just have to uh, locate the blend file and add the libraries. Make sure you write libraries correctly, obviously. But instead of actually cloning git, we can also just download it directly into that folder. So that's what we're going to do. And so let's uh, get this library folder and we can just download the, uh, the, um, the git logic node pack right here. We can just zip download it all the way to wherever we have just saved our file being in the library folder and uh, once it's downloaded we can open it up as a folder and we can unzip it that way uh, we will have uh, all the different files necessary for the blend file now what it's going to do basically is when we reopen uh, blender and we reopen the file we've just imported all the libraries to it's going to look at the libraries folder and it's going to go to the resources the logic nodes and it's going to grab all these hacked files which are essentially logic nodes and it's going to add them into blender now uh, to verify that it works you can see just look at this like animation controller and what we want to do is we want to close down blender and we want to reopen it again and then we can just uh, select the file that we just made obviously untitled and over here in the logic nodes pack we can see uh, that we have the animation controller right here and we also have like the cam um, camera controller I think yeah camera controller right here which is also a very useful node we also have the player controller a lot of really great nodes and uh, yeah so, yes yeah, so essentially a lot of very good nodes here and uh, there we go now you know how to import custom logic nodes into Armory 3D. Now hopefully you can find something good to uh, use them on. And if you're not sure, then you could always just try using them in the 3D Game Jam, which also ends in less than two weeks. So, you know, hurry up. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward to see what you guys can create. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.